Demographic Segmentation for Fashion Retailer Case Introduction. Let's imagine that you were hired by a fashion retailer to segment the market and analyze the value of customers as well as the segment size. Let's look at the assumptions and data that we will need to solve this case study. So first of all, the company is located in Spain and Portugal, and we have decided to use demographic segmentation. On top of that, we have also identified four buying missions that we want to incorporate into our analysis. We know how many customers are in every segment, and based on the segmentation's missions we have identified and the consumer research that we have conducted, we want to calculate the customer value per segment, as well as the size of every segment. Now let's have a look at the segments. So we have identified three main segments, so women, men, and kids. However, we have noticed that there will be differences in behavior when it comes to the age. So in our segmentation, we will also add the age brackets. So we will have actually not three, but five segments. So here we've got kids, young women, older women, young men, and older men. And here you have a description of each and every segment. As you will see, the difference between young women and older women starts from the age of 34, 35. We have described here the main things around their purchasing power as well as how much they spend on on what. And we obviously have the age of the customer. As we said, we also have identified four different purchasing missions. And here are those four missions. So the first one are special occasions where you need dresses, suits, and more expensive shirts. In this case, we have obviously wedding parties and maybe some sort of a holidays where you want to dress up. Apart from that, obviously, we have standard buying. So underwear, socks, t-shirts, jeans, and things like that. We will also have impulse buying, especially in the categories like shoes, bags, and accessories. And the final mission is exchange wardrobe, which is triggered by change in the lifestyle or maybe change of size. And during this mission, you obviously buy a lot of different things. From the, our internal loyalty program, transactional data, and a little bit of consumer research, we got a pretty detailed description of each and every segment as well as mission. So here we've got the segments, and here we've got the missions. So for example, when it comes to special occasions buying, for kids, we would have just one item being bought on average, and then the transaction value would be around 15 euro. So we have described every sub-segment, which is a combination of the segments and the purchasing mission. And on top of that, we also have data on how often a specific segment does specific mission. And here, for example, we can see that when it comes to kids, special occasions are just 20% of all purchases. 50% would be standard buying, 10 impulse buying, and 20 exchange of the wardrobe. When it comes to young women, exchange of wardrobe is much more frequent, whereas the standard buying would be only 25% of the purchases being done during the year. So we have described every segment like that. And now on the basis of the things we have shown you, we will try in Excel to estimate the value of one customer per segment. And after that, to be able to estimate the size and the value of the whole segments. And thanks to that, we'll know what we should concentrate on. So let's move to Excel, where we'll have a look at the data that you will need to solve this case study. Part of that will be what we have already seen here, but transferred already in Excel. And on top of that, we will have uh, additional information like the number of customers. Let's have a look at the data that you will need to solve this case study. So please open file attached to the lecture, which is called Fashion Store Segmentation Version 3 Empty. And here, as always, in the Sheet Master, you will find a table of content. So let's go slowly but surely by each and every sheet, and I will explain you what you can find there. So in the Sheet Shares, we've got the share of every mission per segment. So for example, here we show that 20% of the purchases are special occasions when it comes to kids, 50 standard buying, Impulse buying would be 10% and then exchange buying. So in exchanging quarter, it's 20%. So we have described that for each and every segment. And obviously, it will be different for every segment. On top of that, in column N, we've got the number of transactions done during one year. So for example, when it comes to kids, we have a 20 purchase per year. 
whereas when it comes to young women, it's 18 purchases per year, and so on and so forth. Using those two information, try to calculate the number of purchases per year per one customer by missions. You get it by simply multiplying the share of a specific mission for a specific segment by the total number of purchases done during the year. After that, have a look at the items per transaction. So here we've got how many items they buy per one transaction. So for example, when it comes to kids, if it is a special occasion buying, there is a one item being bought. But if it's exchange of a wardrobe, then we've got 10. Using the shares that we have described in the previous sheet, calculate the average weighted items per transaction per segment. As a way to use the shares, if you want to do it fast, I would recommend using the sum product function. In the very same manner, in the sheet ATV, calculate the weighted average transaction per segment. Now, as we said, in this exercise, we want to calculate the customer value and the segment value. So the customer value we will calculate in the sheet cast val. And here we will transfer the data on the number of purchases per year per one customer that we have described in the sheet shares and also the average transaction value from the ATV sheet. And then on the basis of that, you can calculate the value of purchases done during the year per one customer. We get it by multiplying the number of purchases in other words, number of transaction, and then the value per transaction. Do it per mission for every segment, and then try to calculate the totals in the column N. Once we've got the value of purchases done by one customer during the year, we can calculate finally the value of each and every segment. And this is what we're going to do in the sheet segment val. And here we simply look at the value of purchases done during one year per one customer from the sheet customer val. And we get the number of customers. We multiply those two things. And in this way, you get the value of segments by missions. Once you have this calculated, you can also look at the shares of each and every subsegment and also of every segment. This will be visible in column N. On top of that, you can also calculate the share of a specific mission, purchasing mission in the total market. The number of customers is available in customer NR sheet. So as you can see, we have uh, almost 48 million customers and this is how they are divided by segments. So that's in short, after you do all the calculations, analyze them. After you analyze the data in Excel, have a look also at the sheet slide where we have prepared a series of charts that will help you visualize and analyze the data. As always, I recommend now to pause the lecture, do the case on your own. And once you're done with that, move on to the next lecture where we will discuss the solution to this case study. I hope you manage to solve the case on your own, but just in case, let's go through the solution together and let's see what we got from this analysis of segments. We're going to start by looking at the value of our one customer. And then in the next lecture, we're going to try to estimate the value of the whole segment. We will also look at the charts and see how we can interpret them. So the first thing, as we said, was to calculate the number of purchases being done per year for a specific segment. We had the shares here starting from row six, and we had the total number of purchases done during the year. So thanks to that, by multiplying those two elements, we got how many purchases were done per year. So in the case of the kids, we had 20 purchases done per year. Since we know that special occasions are 20% of all purchases, this would suggest that four purchases are being done per year when it comes to special occasions buying. In the same manner, we have calculated standard buying to be 10, impulse buying 2, and when it comes to exchange of world up, we've got four purchases per day done within this specific mission. Once we've got that, we calculated the average weighted item per transaction. And as you can see, this will differ by missions. In column N, we have calculated the average weighted. The biggest one is for the segment older women. And the second biggest is for young women, followed by kids. We calculated that using the share of a specific mission by segments and obviously the number of items per transaction per mission. To calculate the weighted average, we use this sum product function, which simply multiplies the IPT for every mission by the weights. 
in the same manner we have calculated the average transaction value and as you can see the highest one is for older women followed by older men and then the third biggest is younger women now when it comes to the customer value as we said we take the number of purchases per year per customer obviously divided by missions that we have calculated in sheet shares so this is calculated here and then we simply multiply the number of purchases by average transaction value by segment and mission and in this way we get in total on a specific mission so for example in the case of kids we've got that they do four purchases when it comes to special occasions buying on average during this purchase they spend 15 euro therefore in total they're gonna spend 60 euro during the year when it comes to the standard buying kids are doing 10 purchases per year every purchase on average has 10 euro so it means that in total they're gonna spend 100 euro so thanks to that we are able to identify estimate the value of purchases generated on a specific mission in total during the year by one customer and obviously we do that by segments and as you can see the biggest spendings are happening when it comes to older women they spend more than 1000 euro per year the second biggest spender are older men and the lowest would be spending on kids so it's 180 euro per one customer and as you can see this is five times smaller than the maximum amount spent by older women so that's in short when it comes to the average customer value now since we have that we'll have a look at the segment value in the next lecture and we'll also look at charts so in the previous lecture we have estimated the value of one customer now we'll try to estimate the size of the segments and we do that in the sheet segment val we combine here the data from previous calculation so the value of purchase done during the year per one customer and we multiply the purchase done by one customer by the number of customers and in this way we get starting from row 19 estimation of the size of each and every segment in row 19 we have estimated the total amount spent by missions and in column n here you can see the size of each and every segment obviously expressed in value from that we can see that the total market is 44 billion the biggest segments are all the women which spent 22 billion on apparel on fashion the second biggest segment are all the men which spent almost 10 billion when it comes to the size of each and every mission the biggest one is the exchange of wardrobe it's worth 40 billion and it's followed by standard buying which are a little bit more than 12 billion obviously we can look in more details on each and every segment so for example we can analyze the segment of kids which we've got in row 20 and we can see that here standard buying is worth 850 special occasions it's worth 110 million the biggest one is exchange of wardrobe which is worth 2 billion and then the impulse buying it's just 170 million so in total as we said the segment is worth 3.5 billion below we also show the share in the total market again in row 26 you will see it by missions whereas in column n starting from row 27 to 31 you will see the share of a specific segment so for example all the women are responsible for 51 percent of the purchases kids eight young women 14 young men just five and then older men 22. when it comes to missions the exchange bank mission is responsible for 32 percent of the market the second biggest is standard buying followed by special occasion buying which is worth 22 percent and again we can see the size of a sub segment in other words specific mission for specific segment and here we can see that standard buying for older women are worth 12 percent of the whole market and finally we can present the results of this analysis we have done so far in a form of charts and this is what we do in the sheet slide so the first chart it's average item per transaction as you can see the biggest number of items are being bought by women then also the average transaction value is the biggest one for women on next slide we see the share of every mission by segments and later on we can see the value of purchases done during one year per one customer the biggest one are older women followed by older men which are spending 800 euro per year 
And finally, we can see the value of the market. Again, here, this is by missions and by segments. So that's in short how you can analyze this sort of uh, case studies. So as you have seen, we've started by looking at the number of purchases per year. Then once we got the average transaction value per customer per mission, we were able to estimate the customer value. So how much he is purchasing during one year. And finally, we use this data to estimate the size of the market. Obviously, using the fact that we knew how many customers there were in each and every segment. So have a look at the solution. And as always, if you have any questions regarding what we cover here, please let me know.